Hello and welcome to Factorio, Truly Lazy Bastard. I'm Akretio and today we will do some production over here, I think. Uh, and what kind of production? Well, we will do steel production. Well, not really. We, we, yeah, we will make steel, but that's not the production. Ah, damn it. We will make steel, but that's not the production. The production is uh, power poles, mainly. And then we will look into doing more as well. So let's see what happens. But first of all, we need steel. Let's go over here. We need some, some steel belts. And I think we can do this immediately. For uh, the power poles, we need steel and copper. So that's easy enough. But... I mean, the copper is easy enough. We just pushed, uh, pull that down. But then we have the steel. Well, actually, we can have a shared belt of steel and copper. Yeah, that's better. But we still have the steel that we need. So how do we do that? Oh, we have no more furnaces. Okay, we do that with problems. Apparently, let's see. I think we have like I thought we had like a ton of uh, stone, but no. Do we have any more mining drills? Yes, we do. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That's fine. And chests, we have no chests. Hmm, okay, so we need chests to start this. Uh, and the way to get chests is with steel. We have 22 steel, good. And possibly some more chests actually, no. Let's get a few chests done at least. Damn, this isn't going the way I want it to. But, oh well. Oh, I just discovered that we have some underground belts left. And we have some more uh, yellow belts. Let's get all this. Uh, oh, one more. This one as well. Let's get all of this emptied out and then we can uh, remove the belt production over here. But yeah, steel. Uh, we have steel chests. We can use two of those to collect some stone. We need more fuel. Let's refuel all of those. And we have a bit of fuel, but let's see if we if we need more fuel for the power. Yes, we do. So let's refuel that as well. There we go. And now all that we oh, let's leave that. Let's grab the iron, of course, but let's leave the rest of it. Oh, yeah, we could get these to start smelting iron into steel. I think we should do that. Do we have any more? We don't have any more underground belts. So stop the production of that and get some more fuel. Then we can do it automatically. Oh, yeah, this have built up. I was a bit worried about that last episode, but it's all fine. Okay, and we will get some more steel over there. We have a bit of stone over here. There we go. 
and we need to build to build furnaces yes oh and let's drop a bit of stone into the furnace or into the assembly machine as well what more do we need to build well we need assembly machines Uh, for the assembly machines, we need iron gear wheel. We need electric. We have iron gear wheel. We need the green circuit that requires iron. It gets that, and it requires the copper cable. Okay, so we have that. We have that, but we don't have the assembly machine one. What do we need to create that? We need iron plates and iron gear wheels. How much do we need? Only five iron gear wheels. I would say let's use this assembly machine to create assembly machine once. Oh, but we need electronic circuits for that as well. There we go. Now we should get all of that. The only thing we are not getting is iron gear wheels to this assembly machine. But we have a lot of it stocked up, so we should be able to just drop it in, in here. And everything should be running nicely. Well, except that it's slow because we don't have, have that much uh, resources. But while we are doing that, we can fix some steel smelting. Yeah, four, four of those. And let's see. This is, of course, only a temporary setup. But for right now, it should work fine. Just smelting it in the middle. And yes, we won't get a lot of iron through, but that's fine. That's only, I hope, temporary. Oh, one off. Or oh, on the belt. I guess that if we placed the power pole over there, it would work, but we didn't. So let's use an extra power pole. Oh, and we need some fuel for those as well. Come on. Yeah, loads of fuel. Great. Okay, now we will get a lot of uh, a lot of steel. So how do we do this? Well, I think I think the best thing to do is to make another line for the cup the copper and use the line over here um, and then do a splitter like this where we are getting the result done and we are getting steel over here the reason of getting for getting it all the way down is that then we don't have to mess with the other belts of course we don't have any more well we have one more splitter Let's see if we have created any more splitters. Yeah, two more. That's good. 26 of those. Yep. Then we have all of the underground belts we need for now. And what about normal belts? We have 148. That's pretty okay, I think. Oh, and we have steel production. And we are actually getting a bit of iron through, even though we... We are producing a lot. Seven assembly machines. Yeah, this is this is all good. What we want to do here? Yes, we want an underground belt. We want an underground belt over here. We want another one over there. Of course, a normal belt. And then over here we want splitters. So that means we should get uh, copper on one side of the belt and steel on the other. 
and we need ooh. I want more splitters what are we lacking we are lacking we are lacking electronic circuits well I have 17 I only need one more splitter I think so There we go. And this needs iron. Let's fill it up with iron. We should get one more. There we go. And we have all of the splitters we can manage to create right now. Great! Great, great. Not really, but great! The reason I want a lot of uh, splitters is that I want to build it like this then it's i mean i have to rebuild this anyway but then it's easy to get everything down to all of the lines it won't be even but is that that important really well yes okay 11 of those let's grab them I'm thinking, should we get more? And I think, yes, we should get a few more than 11. We should get like 20 or something like that. Uh, and then we can create a minus. Yes, I just wanted to check. We said two uh, assembly machines and then we start building. So let's go for that over here as well. Let's do it on the left side just because we can. So one, two, and this is the this is where we, oh this is where we start building. So this is I get medium I guess medium electric poles. And then we have uh, big electric poles. And then we need steel. Yeah, we need more chests. Oh yeah, we have steel production as well, taking up a lot of the resources. There's loads of things needed right now. Let's just grab those. And let's walk up and uh, add chests over here and over here as well. I mean these Oh, not that one. But the rest have a lot of work to do. Not as much as I thought, but still a lot of work to do. Okay, I'm getting a little bit worried about the fuel situation. 140, I'm right to be... Actually, let's ignore that. I'm right to be worried because we don't have a, enough fuel to, to go around. But now we do. How is the power? The power is good. How is the map and the pollution? The pollution, well, it's getting too, too big. Oh, over, no, that's not pollution. It's over here. The pollution is kind of okay, but not good. But we didn't expect it to. So everything is going, well, kind of according to plan, I guess. Let's do it like that. And we want one chest on each of those spaces. And let's limit both of them to one, one stack right now. And there we have everything to create power poles, except the power needed. Uh, yeah, one power pole to uh, get all of this working. Great. Now what more? What is the next thing to do? I think that the next thing to do is to stop this. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, let's stop that. And then we want to create a bunch of mining drills. We have that. We have... Uh, 
Hmm. Well, there. there we go. And we have basically everything needed. So we will get a lot of mining drills. Great. Or whatever they are called. Electric mining drill. Yes, mining drills. That's correct. I was right. Yay. And we have some chests and... Yeah, something of everything, but not a lot of anything. That's that's basically the situation right now. Okay, so power poles, seven of those, 14 of those, and we are continuing to build to create a lot of them. But what is our next goal? I mean, I do want these things. But we need more iron. And I don't feel like building anything with iron right now. We also need inserters. That's even more iron. Uh, belts we have. Lamps. Yes, it is iron. But yeah, no. Mining drills. No, what we need is more. Uh, what we really need is more mining. That's that's about it. More mining and possibly more uh, more furnaces. So let's see. We have a few more mining drills. Seven of them. That's actually quite a few. Oh, but now we're getting into a situation where we all basically we have filled up the belts. Oh, but that is yellow belts. We still can change it to red belts. And then it should yeah, we should be able to add a bit more, uh, a bit more mining drills. Great, one, two over there. That's the bottom my part I can do. And then let's go with this. There we go. We need some power. Great. And maybe, oh, okay. Okay, so we have some issues to solve over here. That's fine. Where do we have mining drills? There we go. So if we place it like that, we still can't put the belt. So if we do it like this, if we place them over there, can we fit the belt in here? Yes, we can. So let's fit the belt like that. And then we go with mining drills. That one and the bottom one and then one in the middle and we just get everything connected oh yeah how do we get everything connected well we can't go up here okay so we have to go over here i think something like that and yes i know uh, well, we are going to combine it into one belt anyway, so let's just do it sooner. There we go. That should work, work out just fine. And we have way more iron to smelt. 
The problem now is of course that we don't have enough smelting. But that's a good, uh, a good problem to have, at least right now. We still don't have enough iron over here, but that's, yeah, that's crap, to be honest. But what do we want to do? Let's not empty the steel out of these furnaces. Actually, let's, but let's not refuel. No, let's not even empty the, empty the steel. That way we have no problems with it. Okay, and let's refuel our power situation. 500, that's actually pretty good. There we go. Now we have a lot of, uh, of coal over there. Great. I think we have more. 21, 24. Oh, I thought we had more of the big power poles. But no, it's good that we don't. So that's the way we want it, actually. Yeah, but that's power poles. Do we have anything else right now that we can build from steel and copper? I mean, all of this requires iron. Copper cable and electric circuits for all of it. And iron for these two. Hmm. Yeah, I think that have to be our next, our next thing to create. So if we, let's see, how do we do this in the best possible way? If we have a belt with, yeah, how do we do this? How do we do this? Let's say we have a belt with iron. And we have a belt with copper. I don't know if this will work out. And here we have... Uh, yeah. hmm. Here we have production of copper cable. So we are grabbing from the copper onto this belt. We need more belts. We need more belts. So that's fine. Oh yeah, now I know how we can do it. Or do I? Um. Yes, I do. Most of it, at least. So we, if we do this, then we have another set. We have copper and we have electric circuit. And we are grabbing. This is feeding out to this belt to, to uh, be of service for any of the copper we need over here. And this one is just feeding into, into the uh, electric circuit that we also need to feed out some way to the right. And we need some iron. So the iron and the copper, great, that works out. Copper cable. Uh, 
And now we get to the challenge. Well, actually, no, it isn't that big of a challenge. The challenge is that we don't have any long-handed inserters yet. But let's just create a bunch of them instead. We need inserters, iron plates and iron gear wheels. Oh, by the way, we might want to stop this. We have a lot of uh, mining drills now. So let's make long-handed inserters instead. And we need... Let's say a stack of them. Yeah, so this... This will actually work kind of okay, I think. Long-handed inserters over there. Okay. So we have this belt with copper cable and we have this belt with electronic circuits and then this setup we duplicate on the other side oh good in and we duplicate the inserters feeding into these machines as well but we want this to feed out to this belt as that is doing and we want the copper cable to feed out to this belt great and then we just need belts over here as well okay so what this gives us is one belt with copper cable one with electronic circuits and two belts with iron on the side, which covers all of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things. Yeah, it's a little bit unlucky that it's seven, but uh, we can handle that. Okay, oh, okay, let's do it. Quick and dirty, right? No, that's maybe a mistake, but let's not. Let's pretend it's not. There we go, and then we need iron. Iron, iron, oh. And then we need more belts. And iron, we will, of course. Grab from oh we need more splitters. Please one splitter. One splitter, yes. Why didn't I ask for a couple more splitters? Oh I shouldn't have grabbed those. But I do need these. Damn it, we need more iron. We need loads of more iron. Yeah, I should have asked for a bunch more splitters. What? Oh, and these are wrong. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Okay, so that should be okay. And we have belts like that, and we have a splitter over here, and we have to change that underground belt to go over there. Yeah, this is awful, <laughs> but it's working. We need three more splitters to do the same we have done over there. And then we need three more to do it over here again. Whoops. So this is the line for K 
couple. Here we go, underground. We have that. We need four more splitters. Okay. What are we lacking to get splitters? We are lacking green circuits. But we have a bunch over here, so let's use those. The thing is that the next thing we can do to get things uh, produced is to do it is to uh, buy oh because I don't have any arm plates that's fine. But the next thing we can do to get things produced is to build real uh, smelting setups that's really what we should do four splitters yes 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 let's do that oh we are lacking belts over there five splitters we have all of the splitters we need at this very moment Let's see, what do we need? We need a splitter over here for the iron belt. And then we need a bunch of splitters there to get iron into all of the belts. And oh, power. There we go. Yes, this seems to be. Oh, except that I forgot about that insert. This seems to be working out pretty okay. Oh, the, uh, the long handed insert is faster than the, the normal one. I haven't, I haven't realized that before. Okay. By the way, we need more long handed inserters. But we probably have a bunch over here now. Yes, we do. Great. Let's grab uh, half a stack. Two half stacks of those, I guess. Okay. So now we need circuit production. Two, three. That's circuit production. And we need some other production. Okay, this is what we need. The only thing is that I don't know what we have in the in the different assembly machines. But that's to figure out. I think in this one we have red circuits, green circuits. And then we need combinator, 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 and power switch. I think we put all of the combinators on the same side. So that combinator, that combinator, that combinator, and the power switch. And then we put in a bunch of programmable speakers. What is this? Lamp. I think we can do lamps as well over here. That will work out. Of course it requires us to make another assembly machine like that, but no, not like that. Damn it. Like that. But that's fine. Do that. Do this one needs iron as well, of course. Of course, I placed the two, well, three things that needs iron furthest away from the iron. This, by the way, is iron sticks, and we need we need chests. Oh, we have chests. One, two, three, four. Five, six, 
seven eight nine eight uh, and then feed out feed out out and out okay so here we go is this the no that's that doesn't require oh yeah that's fine This requires iron, yes. Okay, so we have all of the iron fixed. What we need now is to get all of the other stuff, and then we need long handed inserters. And I'm not gonna worry about overlapping in this series. Oh, this one. This one doesn't need the short one. We just need long-handed insert over there. And then we have iron sticks and lamps. Okay, so I think we have it all set up, except the power. Talking about power, maybe I should grab that stack to make sure we have enough power poles. And now we can Oh, no, oh, that's a mistake. Let's place it over there instead. Place it like that. Yeah, this is not a beautiful setup. I know that. Should have placed it between the, uh, between the chests, of course. Let's demolish a few power lines, a few power poles. Oh. Okay, so we need one more over there and we need one more over here. Oh, and we need another insert over there to get iron for the lamps. Yes, yeah, so we are creating all of this, but we have to limit the chests. The first game I ever played in Factorio, I didn't limit any chests. It turned out that it was a big mistake. I mean, these things doesn't matter that much. They are not really expensive. But when we get to the really expensive stuff, like circuits, we really need to limit the chests. Okay, so we have lamps. Great, let's get some lamps into position, shall we? I have no set goal for where to place lamps, except that I try to get most of the stuff uh, to be to be lit okay so we are we are stacking up on steel and we have all of the long handed long the big electric poles that we need at the moment at least yeah this is going good kind of at least let's lamps we need lamps over here we need lamps over this area definitely oh definitely a lamp over there we need a bunch more lamps but yeah, it seems. Wait, we are over here. We have built up the uh, iron completely, which means that all of the iron is going up here. That's kind of good. And we haven't built up iron 
enough so that we get we, we are able to empty all of our uh, all of our furnaces oh but we are getting low on coal we are actually getting low on coal for iron smelting and of course we are getting stuck on iron mining as well but let's fix the coal issue that's easy to fix done double the amount of uh, coal mining that should do the trick what I'm a little bit worried about right now is that we might be polluting a lot 500 and yeah so we all we do have a big amount of coal but let's add a bit more we had like 1300 before now we have 900 so yes we have a big amount of it but that doesn't mean that we have enough of it Yeah, so what to do now? Oh, we need more uh, assembly machines. Let's set up the assembly machine construction again. Assembly machine 2, assembly machine 1. Get iron gear wheels. Actually, we could do it like that. Do we have, yeah, we have everything for that, we have, we don't have the electronic circuits, yeah we do, we have electronic circuits as well, so we have everything for everything, except iron gear wheels for this one, but we are kind of handling it from over here, plus that we dumped a lot of it into the, into the assembly machine directly. Of course, now we are using a lot of iron again. But what do we actually want to do? Well, we want to set up iron production over here and then funnel it down somehow. I think we want to do one more thing. We want to grab a bunch of iron. Well, we do want to get, yeah, we need a lot of iron. Let's actually go over here and grab iron. Why? Oh, because, yeah, I was thinking, why aren't we creating any labs? But everything else is getting the, the green circuits first, so that's why. No worries. Getting the iron over there, getting the iron over here. Great. So now we have a bunch of iron. Let's grab this iron as well. So what to do with all of this iron? Well, yeah, we could donate it to research, that would be a good use, or we could donate it to, oh, not over here, but that's the only place we have. Unless we create a new, no, we are not putting any more assembly machines down over here. So let's do it over here. We do want a bunch of iron chests. Let's put, yeah. Something like that. And then we donate to research. Oh. Okay, so we didn't get everything 
but we got most of the things. And we got the copper plate going. How is the research? Oh, it's gates. So it's both uh, red and green research. Okay, so what's happening with the... I guess what's happening over here is that we... We have created a bunch of chests, but since we have chests in the assembly machine, it won't pick them up. It won't remove them. And we have no way of emptying that. And we created an insert over here. That was probably a mistake. Okay, let's pick up all of the iron. How much? We have 10 of those assembly machines. We need like... 30 or something like that. What I want to create, and I don't think we can create it in this episode, I think we have to wait until the next one. I want to create a, a way of handling the ammunition don't want to get we want to have a little bit of stock of ammunition but we don't want too much so to do that we need a lot of chests and we need a lot of circuits and I think will we use the green or the red I think we will use the red circuit 178 that should be enough that should definitely be enough for what I'm for what I want. Okay, come on. We don't have enough chests. But we can start actually. Let's let's do that. Oh uh, like that and let's get circuits over there so let's go and see what we can do yeah, i think we have enough power oh maybe i should use the belt to get up to to this area it will be faster to run if we use the belts at least uh, i have to end this episode in like five minutes so i will try to get this to work on one setup I think yeah so the idea oh we have a lot of ammo over here that's one thing we want to avoid the idea is to have chest over there and we have wire going from the insert to the chest. That means that in the chest we store whatever. But in the insert we say that if the amount of... Anything? Everything? any of the input signals no if all inputs no we want the grand total of everything hmm I think we can use this. If that is less than 10, it will enable it. And then when it have reached 10, you can see 8, 9, 10, it will stop. But I don't think this is what we need. I think we need some kind of circuits to get this to work. 
I didn't expect it, but I need to count the, the total amount, not what we have in of one individual thing, but the total amount of things we have. Okay, so let's go and grab some of the, uh, actually, let's grab some green wires as well. Some arithmetic combinators and some decider combinators. Post, uh, uh, constant combinator. Yeah, let's grab that as well. Do we need a power switch? No. Or speakers? Not now. I do want the speakers eventually, but not right now. So. Yeah, I shouldn't set it to a set amount. That's my first problem. Second problem is that I need a lot of things over in the hotbar right now. And the constant combinator. There we go. So let's right now set a constant combinator over here. This will output a five so five this will hook up to the, the uh, electric poles like that and well let's rotate that again because we want to remove that red red wire so what we want to see is arithmetic. I think it's the the side combinator we want. Oh, but we don't want it over here. We want it close by. We want it. Yeah, we want it over here. I think. So if the amount of Oh, evaluates the condition or performs the operation of on all input signals. Any of the if all input. Damn it! I don't know how to do this. I basically want want to count what's in the chest, compare it to how much is in here and if it's less in the chest than in here we want to activate the inserter but we can't do that right now because I don't know how let's by the way change this from A to T 5 no not T to M for magazine M5 okay good but we have to look into this in the next episode and then we will also look into actually before we end this episode I will stop the amount of uh, ammo being produced we have way too much ammo right now and we definitely don't want more of the yellow ammo Oh, oh, a chest with one coal. Ammo, ammo, ammo. There we go. Yep. So that's it. Thank you a lot for watching. Next time we'll do something else. But hopefully we will get the... Uh, I am under control. Anyway, thank you a lot for watching. See you next time. Bye.